wake up. Hey there, everyone. So, Cal playing uh, out a while and let us not dawdle. Uh, we have a energy plan to visit, and we're gonna do that. Uh, that's the plan. I know I can get there. Uh, like, you know, I figured out the path after just a couple of tries. It's not complicated, it's not hard, it is not demanding. You just kind of have to figure it out. I'm just bad with verbal instructions, I think. Like, just in general. Just, like, not, like, in this game or whatever. Just in general, in real life or in assorted games, I think I'm just bad at being told what to do. And that includes helpful instructions. And that's just how I am as a person. Anyways, so here's Ember Twin. We're gonna go to where the laser is. There's something I want to check. There's something I thought about that I want to try, but I can't do it now because I'm on that time crunch. Like, I, you know, there's stuff I have to do, and I have to do it now. So, uh, but uh, maybe next loop, or depending on how fast this goes, I guess. Because I've been wondering. So, you know how I have a sequence for... Um, or know my distress signal, right? Like the laser that sounds like violin. I don't know if I've ever tried that setting inside Giant's Deep. And if I could get to the stranded know my ship in there that way. I just don't know. But it's a thought I had. Uh, it's just that, like I said, right now, I'm kind of on a time crunch. And I don't know how crunchy that time crunch is. So, uh, this is why I'm just kind of going, and we'll be trying these things out. Maybe Lex Loop, depending on how this goes. Uh, there's a lot of things about the world that I don't understand, and one of them is you. Oh, I don't know if that's flattering or not. Alright, I think this is where I want to go. I always forget how this starts. This will tell me. It's so breathable air. Okay, so that's a... So I want to go here first. Yeah. Go down this path, and then it's like, turn left after the sand pit, and then I get super confused, because <laughs> that's just who I am. But okay, first we go down here, so we go down, down there, so yeah, so we start by going down here, a little sprut of juice, again, a little sprut, there you go, so only one path here. So there's a whole circular path around this pit, I'm just really bad at noticing, that's my life. All right, hole is up here. Whoop, bumped my head. This is not great, but you know what? I don't have eyes on top of my head. Wow, okay, this is going pretty good. Dude, all right, okay, got it. Not hurt, everything is fine. There's a door somewhere. There it is, it's not a door. Well, there's, there's not a door in the sense that there's not a door. This is my passage, and here we cross here. Bump a little bit. You can clearly see the passage here. There we go. Um, a little bit of platforming here. Whoosh, don't get cactus. There you go. And look at that. We are in Cityburg. Just gotta open up this door, which once upon a time probably kept the sand from piling into the city, but that's couple of years ago. Alright, so, make sure to refresh your air, which I didn't do last time. Let's just get all the lights up, because, you know, just have a nice lit up zone here. Here we go. So, high energy plant, it's the, you know, there's a big old energy wire connecting it, so you know exactly where it is. Alright, thank you jetpack. I hope I'm gonna have enough jetpack fuel. So, hi energy lab! I remember writing somewhere somehow referring to this. Um, so, probably important, and I hope is going to be key to figuring out another, like, important information regarding the, uh, here are passages, huh? Important information, re oh, is this? I don't know. The, I don't know if this is, but let's follow this wire, maybe? Um... I don't know what I'm saying. It's pretty good. I mean, this is where the wire's going. Do you want me to... Uh, oh, 
Okay, I missed. Yeah, that sand is very strong. Okay, let's try again. Ugh. Maybe you're supposed to wait until the sand is high enough? Alright, is there anything else here that I can do? I can go here and see a wall. Pretty rad! Because sand is starting to pile up. Alright, okay. So, what I interpret here is that, yeah, you keep following that sand. Already it's piling up, like, a lot. So, it's like, yeah, you can't jetpack through the sand, but it doesn't matter. It's okay. You will be forgiven. Alright, sand, sand in my hand. Welcome to the land. Oh, boy. I'm good at this. Uh, alright, alright. Are you covered cactus? No? Jesus, hell, cactus. Alright, okay, here we go. We got an electrical wire. We can follow to here where nothing is happening. Uh, alright, so alternate pathway for me then. That will hopefully, yet yeah, catch us back up with that wire. Okay, it just goes here. Um, or does it? Or maybe here? This is scary. Like, this is a scary path. You are on a time limit, buddy. But I think I'm through the worst of it. I mean, I'm through the part that has the explicit time limit for now. Alright, this goes up there. There's a door beyond, so of course I'm a little curious. It's nice little windows. So we are, like, right up against the ravine. Oh, is there a way here? Okay, so if I go at the broken bridge... Um... From the outside, it's another way here. Something to keep in mind, possibly? I don't know if it matters. Well, in terms of oxygen, it might matter. No, wait, that's a downwards. I want to go at the upwards. No, wait. That's where this ends. Okay, so I need to cross the bridge, maybe. Because that's down. That's going downward. I cannot... Ah, uh, yeah. See, like, I can't push. Also, it's full of... Oh, boy. It's full of ghosts. Okay. Alright. That's fun. For the whole crew. Well, here we get the messed up hallway. Yeah, that's right. I'm going through this rectangle. Can't stop me. Okay, sweet. An uh, upper. Oh, jeez. Alright. Um, I would have thought uh, Amber Twin was a platforming world. Alright, trees! Trees are great. I love me a tree. Fill me with trees, not with a skeleton split in two. <laughs> all right, all the Big Mac containers, and here, whoa, ho, what is this? Is there writing that warp core? Check it out, it's warp core. So that's what a warp core looks like. You can put warp cores into there, and then that's like the big start machine, and that's gonna start a machine. I feel like I've trumbled into something much bigger than I was actually ready for. Uh, well, we got writing, so let's get our read on. Oh my, writing at a warp receiver on Brittle Hollow, very slightly before departing from the white stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slight amount of time travel. All right. Experiment set up will first pair small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the set of... Yeah, so I've got those in the... Like, I can see some of the warp cores, yeah, in the crystal container. Some are white and some are black. All right. Yeah, so that, well, it pauses. That is what has been observed with your machines. I don't know why this one was. This is a different one. Okay, experiment here reproduce the anomaly and arrival and departure times with Pi's equipment error. 
Does energy supplies provide sufficient? <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I like I don't know how much energy you guys are talking about. Wow, they're using the city's entire energy supply. So they discovered time travel. <laughs> They've discovered the practical time travel. And yeah, the result of being is gonna be eventually... Oh hey, that thing I found out yesterday. Yeah, each of the towers are the label. That is so funny. And it keeps going. This is a place. It's asking if creating 22 interval is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through. 22 minutes! What a... What a amount of time. <laughs> uh, I learned a negative interval of time between the person arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. So, further you go. This is why they needed a supernova. Because they needed an absolutely absurd amount of power to power up the module's ability to go back 22 minutes. And so, they died. The civilization was put to rest. 200,000 years later, the sun goes into a natural supernova, which starts the machine because it gets the power it needs, just way later. And this is what starts all of this. So, if it weren't for the Nomai, my little civilization would just have been naturally doomed. And that's why they were so disappointed in not being able to artificially induce a supernova. Because that means that their plan here was a dead end. They didn't mean to get this info millennia's extreme plural after they all died. I believe it's you as Aeroform. Oh, there's a translation quirk. Uh, yeah, there's uh, another one right here. That's just an empty thing. That's a skull. I can't put that in the reader, sadly. Everyone is dead. Sit in that voice. To be able to, we need a way to travel quickly between Ashwin and each location that holds crucial project. This is why there are towers that teleport to every dang place in the solar system. Yeah. I like this. I like that I had time to figure these things out and then get my thoughts confirmed. Just basically on the exact right time. Cold Forge. Yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, Yaro got some sass. <laughs> Look at that. Flox is like, yeah, Flox. Yeah, you're the one that made the mask, right? You're artistically inclined. Uh, so, yeah, it was your idea. Yeah, we're like hyperspace mages. We have the resources to make giant elaborate construct. Oh, that's good. Uh, Okay, it's a geyser mountain, the Timberheart one. The, the, the Timberheart one I didn't figure out. I thought it was like just big blobo, and I thought maybe that was like trees, even though it's coniferous trees, but no, yeah, confirmed, super confirmed, but like, oh, I just had just enough time to figure it out. I'm so happy about that. So there's a war drive down there I haven't played with yet, but you know, there's more stuff here. Here's a, this door has two arrows pointing at it. Okay, so... Is this a place? High energy lab. I don't know if I've ever been here. So I'm in close for some time. Running experiment based on experiment from the White Hole Station. 
All right. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever been here. Oh, it's near this. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't think I've ever been here, actually. Well, now I am. Sunless City. So, I... I found this mystery before... Well, after the mystery was solved. And here's... there's Like, I'm just kind of curious about this place, that's all. So you got stairs. So you maybe would have seen that wire and set it up there. But, you know, without being able to do anything about it. Oh, wow. This is, like, elaborate. Oh, there's crystals, though. So don't get too saucy. Sunless City. So it's just Sunless City signs. Oh, okay, no, no, yeah. Sunless City. Here's a crash site caves. That's where they crashed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to either run out of time or lung time. So I'm going to go back because there's more things to play around with. It's just like kind of getting a bead for things. But I know that... All right, you know what? I'm here. Distress beacon. I cannot detect one at this point from Giant's Deep, but it could just be too far. All right, fair enough. I just wondered if that's how you get there. Sun is getting bulbous, but it's not the end yet. <laughs> wow, they're getting saucy today. Yeah, so that's why the door was sealed. At some point, the door was broken. Trees detected. A good time is had by all. So. You give me a big old toy here. So if we combine... A white hole. I don't know if it makes a difference. In a... Black hole. Then I'm going to invoke some form of disaster by releasing this energy. Okay, well. Alright. <laughs> so that's their experiment, and that's how they... I wonder, if you freeze frame... Is it, like, does it appear before it doesn't? I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more, maybe. Can I remove while... Okay, that just cancels everything. What if we put two black holes next to each other? It, it doesn't do. Great, alright. What if we put, uh, come on, that's like an empty? That's just an empty warp core. Exciting! Maybe it doesn't work because I need to like close it and stuff. All right, because I, I, I mean, I'm here, right? Let's do some science. All right, so let's put two black holes. Because I feel like they give us a selection like that for a reason. All right, sweet. I'm not sure what I'm gaining from this info, but this is fun. Alright, it just doesn't work. Oh, is it because they're not touching? No, that's just how they're made. Like, the indent there kind of decides... Ah, uh, dude. So the I get anything out? Uh, I put it there. Does that matter any? I'm just kind of curious. Like, might as well figure it out, right? So I heard a gross, like, frrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
photos? No, I don't, I'm sure I'm getting photos from Watt while this is happening. But wow, that's so weird. That is so weird. And I turn off all the electricity, but you know what? Maybe that's for the best. And so time travel is real. That is really cool. Not gonna lie. I'm not sure what to do with this knowledge. Um... Like, I know why... The Ash Twin is there. I still don't know how to get in it. Do you think one of the portals go inward and you can use that to go inside? Hey, what's this? Uh, we need a... Well, that's a reader, but I don't have a read E. I don't have a plate to feed it. Um... Yeah. This is really cool. But I'm not sure what to do with it. On top of this thing, no. Is that a writing wall? No, that's just a side wall. Yeah, here's a reading table, so you know they use this to communicate. But I'm not seeing any. I didn't see any like orange plaques today. I think like on top of this, what I assume to be a power generator. But, but, nah. Nothing for me here. Yeah, this is cool, but at the same time, yeah, I feel like I hit a... A dead end of sort. Alright, if I have time to get to my ship, I mean, the sun's getting real ugly. I just want to go in Giant's Deep and see if I can get a distress signal there. Oh, wow, yeah, like, we're at full ravine at this point. Hey, shit. Alright. I'm glad you weren't like... Alright. I don't know if I have enough time to do what I want to do, but I'll at least try. Ah, there we go. Not deep, I want rambles, right? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's working! Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I didn't get one because I aimed at Giant's Deep like an absolute fool. Okay. We got something. I don't know if I have enough time, though. Like, I think I'm getting real close to the end, right? I wish my ship had a clock. Of all things, that it's missing. My world for a clock. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get a preview. So, the fish, they're blind. Me hiding meant nothing. However... Wrong button. However... Like, I was still doing something correctly. Because I didn't get any fish at... Like, interaction at all last time I came here. Not the red. It's never the red. So... This... this one, I guess. Oh, not anymore. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. It's just when I got here. Alright. Well, I know what I'm doing next time. There will be no surprises. Is that the stranger? No, it's Zion's Deep. Yeah, dude, I would be seeing stars in it if that was the case. This is such a... Cool looking scene though.
Dang it. I'm having a moment. <laughs> Stupid planet. <laughs>